Hey guys, I'm doing a new angle for today's video, but today has been a day where I have been working hard to get caught back up from the flood that we had on Saturday, which it wasn't as bad as the one that happened during Thanksgiving when the pipes, we had issues with the pipes. What happened on Thanksgiving is we had used the water purifier thing that is upstairs in the upstairs sink and it had cycled throughout the night and that thing it's it'll sit and cycle for half an hour or so or more and it just filled we had a five gallon bucket that we filled up but anyways it filled up the five gallon bucket and it <laughs> spilled all over and anyways so now we had issues with the pipes again and needless to say we found something was on backwards so we got it put back together and it just kind of put me a little ways back throughout the day so I didn't get a lot done Saturday and then Monday I was trying to catch up from Saturday and then today I tried to catch up from Monday and Saturday and I think I got it all I'm all caught up I just need some sleep right now um, so I was doing that, and then yesterday's video, after I had finished filming it, I accidentally dropped the metal bowl I was carrying, because I had just taken up some scraps to the pigs from the day, and dropped it on the asphalt road, and Bandit was ahead of me, next thing I know he is behind me, like, all. Oh, He's shrinking back into himself, kind of, that I'm going to hit him. And I had to stop and say, hey, no, I'm not going to hit you. And that's one thing that I've noticed at work. He's starting to become more and more, like when I would pick up a shovel when he first came, um, he would not, he would run to the opposite side. He would not come near or anything. And now he's... He'll come and sniff the shovel. He won't come near me, but he will sniff the shovel and he will sit and watch close by, but he will not come near me unless I put the shovel down. The net and another thing or like a bucket, if I have a bucket in my hand or anything, he comes close, but not close enough. He's close, but close enough that if he needs to get away, he can get away. And I feel bad that he had to endure abuse when he was, I don't know if it was when he was growing up or what, but I've been able to just kind of work with him and I've got him to sit. He he could sit and shake when he got here, but we're we're doing a little bit more of the sit and a little bit more of the stay, you know, kind of thing. We're, we're still working on training, but it's coming along. But I had to stop and say, hey, it's okay when I dropped the bowl yesterday. So, but <laughs> we're, he's learning a lot and he's still working. He has his quirks. Like, if he's nervous, he goes down on his front paws, kind of like he's stretching. Or he will not eat or drink unless it's in the bowls that were here when he came. He wouldn't even eat out of a bowl, so it took a while to eat. Anyways, it I said that before, but I am super tired and I am going to head to bed now, so I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye, guys.